people of a certain generation, I think because it would have been the first real introduction to rugby as a computer game, as a two-player game. A great leap! A whole generation of people, it's your childhood game. Basically every rugby game since has kind of had the exact same gameplay except just slightly better graphics. Like, none of the rugby games since then have really improved that much. Digs like a demented mole there. I heard whispers of John Lobu coming around Christmas, maybe, it was it 97, like eight? Yeah, that kind of Christmas was, uh, I was jealous of, of a lot of people around that time. Fun to play and it was competitive and you know better players always would always beat you but you get better playing them and it was just a very competitive fun game to play and I think all the other rugby games just didn't have that at all. They tried to be too realistic and obviously you weren't going to spend big budgets making a really intricate rugby game and they were just terrible. But yeah, John and Rugby was always uh, so bad. There were weird quirks to it, but uh, yeah, I always really enjoyed it. We're just like cattle trucks in a shunting yard. I think it was the first of its kind, and especially I think mean, we were still an amateur sport when it was uh, it was made. So it was groundbreaking in that sense. And having played it for the first time today, absolutely, like it's, it seems pretty easy to to uh, to play. You can adapt to it pretty quickly, and you get used to it. So yeah, it was really enjoyable.